Corey and I are going to try a new spot tonight. Corey has killed a big doe last night that we had to track for 300 yards and finally got it and drug out. Fortunately, we had help because it was a long drag and through a lot of junk, like a jungle. We're going to be really warm today, so if we kill something, we'll have to get it on ice, kind of like we did last night, as quick as possible. This time we actually bought the ice and got it ahead of time, so we'll see if that's good luck or bad luck. But it's supposed to be a cold front coming this evening, so once the wind turns to the north, completely to the north, uh, it's supposed to be about 6 o'clock tonight, it should be about go time, so see what happens. We'll do some scouting today and just pick out a spot and then come back and get our stuff and set up in a tree somewhere. Should see deer though. There's deer all over here. Definitely a bed, I think. See a lot of fresh browse, but it's definitely get in and out of this in a hurry. Anything. Probably in there when it east winds, we can watch out here and catch the wind. We got a west wind now. There's an ex another ex access to that too. There's another place they're crossing under the fence too. Well, we were cracked and that's bedding because we busted a big butted deer out. We didn't catch see what it was exactly, but we know it was off a big body deer. So. Bedding over in here. We assume there's probably bedding over here. There's a CRP here that's cut in three ways here. And we thought about setting up here, but it's, there's nothing here that just grabs us. So I think we're gonna trek back to the truck and check out another spot. And if it's better hunt, if it's not, maybe come back here and set up somewhere and just see what happens. But as we said, I think we think that was a buck. 90% sure that was a buck, but we didn't see any, we didn't see its rack. Not a lot of buck sign, uh, but we, we know that this is bedding. So that's, that's as much as we've gained so far. And it's a long, long walk back. <laughs> <laughs> so if we do come back and hunt this tonight, it's going to be a long trek with stands on, but maybe your only option. We'll see. We weren't sure if there was bucks in the area, but by golly, there's definitely bucks. Found this shed. Yoo -hoo. They're here. They're here. These bucks are here. <laughs> well, we don't know if we're gonna set up in here or not, but off to the next place to see if we can find a little better sign. It's a lot easier coming back, we just used all paths. On to the next one. On to the next one. All right. We scouted all morning, late morning, and didn't find anything that just said hunt here. So we've decided to go to a new spot. And this time we're just going to prepare to hunt because it's about 3 o'clock. Well, after 3 now. So we're going to go in, try to find a spot, kind of quickly scout, find a spot, set up, climb a tree and wait for the deer to come. And we're, Corey's been uh, scouting, he's scouting, so we'll see how close he gets to uh, where the deer are bedding and uh, we'll put some boots on the ground real quick and see what we can find. No pressure for, on Corey. Yep, all on Crazy. I don't know what it is. Is this what they call the, what do you call it, potato duck or duck potato? Duck potato. Yeah, I think this is duck potato. Because they're browsing the heck out of it. Pretty nice 
deer coming through that. Are we going up there? Yeah, we're going to slip up that way. the lake so that's good yeah. I like feeding along closer to the lake too you can just like see yeah. they've mowed it down it starts getting higher there yeah they've completely mowed this little spot down I'm curious where they're coming out of that's what we got fine yeah Just to get in this tree here, it's white oak, and we can see this whole bottom, which is where we saw all them tracks. So, this is more of just to try to scout. We're not going to get up real high, just enough to scout. Maybe a deer comes in bow range, but maybe it'll give us some intel of uh, where they're coming from for tomorrow. So, and that's when the weather's going to be really cool. So, we're going to get back up in the tree. We don't have a lot of time left, so we got to hustle, and we'll see you then. Safely put in the stand up. Safety first. Safety first. Alright, Corey and I are finally set up. Getting late in the day now. We're hot and sweaty, so the wind's marginal at best. But this is the best we could do, so there's this stuff down by the lake i guess they called them duck potato or something and that's what we could tell the deer were just tearing that stuff up so tried to get between the bed back here maybe over there and that stuff and see if we can catch one coming around so and then we're only we're only we got three sticks but we're actually about two and a half sticks high is all so so but we are into this canopy so, I think we'll see some deer. I'm just not sure if we're in a, on the X, I guess, as they say. So, But we'll be able to tell where it's set up tomorrow by where the deer come out to eat that stuff. Getting close to the end of the day. I'd say we have, I think there's about 30 minutes of legal shooting time. And we've seen zero deer. So, seemed like a good spot. Got plenty of acorns dropping. And they like to feed along that lake, but they haven't seen anything yet at all, except for one turkey that started putting at it, so that's it so far. Maybe between now and the next 20 minutes or so, we might see something, but so far it's a uh, no-go. Right now we're not 100% sure what we're going to do uh, tomorrow, but we think that we want to hunt in the morning because there's a front coming through right now. Wind shifting around to the north, kind of northeast. It's starting to cool down and it's supposed to really drop here. Today was probably 80 degrees today and it's only supposed to be, I think, 58 or 60 tomorrow. So it's going to be a huge drop. So we need to be in the tree somewhere. We just not 100% sure where yet. But we'll go back to the camper and take a look at, uh, I guess, on X and try to make a decision. And and check it out and set up in the morning because we want to be out there. We really believe us to be moving in the morning, so we need to be out somewhere. All right, we're going to try our first morning hunt here at the Missouri Hunting Challenge. Um, we're going to go into a spot that uh, close to where Corey killed his doe, and we're actually going to sit on the ground. And see if we can't uh, 
pick up some deer coming back in from, we think they come from ag from a long ways away. And then they come up to that hill uh, where those oaks are. So we're gonna kind of get up on that ridge a little bit and see if we can hunt, hunt around those oaks. Hopefully they're not there feeding right now because we'll just blow them out of there. But if not, maybe we'll catch one or two coming back and either see if I can put down a doe or uh, better yet, a big buck. So that's the plan for this morning. Day three, let's get it done. Day three. A lot cooler this morning. It's 44. 44. Let's go. Alright, just for an update, we have seen nothing. And I got a sneeze, so you can turn it off. <laughs> it's cold out here. <laughs> it's the first cold morning we've had, so not used to it yet. Uh, we've seen nothing. Nothing's felt like this pretty good spot because we know there's some heavy cover back there. It's probably bedding. Same with over here. We expect them to come across that creek, loop around this hill, and nothing's moved across. So we're going to uh, close this stuff up, pack this stuff up and do a little scouting for this evening. So that's where we're at. O for O today. We just bumped a deer somewhere right up in here. You got a lot of immature oak trees in here. Just thick. Man, it's thick. Um, to get back in here is a chore, but it is starting to open up a little bit. That deer was bedding just right up here. I heard it take off and crash out of here. Just keep uh, cruising through here a little bit. We don't want to bump too much, but we want to see if this is worth going through that prairie. The seven foot tall weeds to hunt back here. So, anyway, we are uh, just. Uh, Keep looking around. All right, guys, we are at a new spot. Um, we haven't hunted this spot yet this week. Uh, we came in here earlier and scouted it, and we liked what we saw. It's got a, it's got a river on the far west side. It's the, uh, it snakes around on two ends of the property and then it's got a bunch of these oak ridges that run down to it and then at the top of them are are uh, full of acorns and just a kind of a flat ridge there uh, several different areas that they could be bedding in we saw quite a few trails uh, nothing was not a lot of buck sign there was some old scrapes or some old rubs and a one fairly fresh scrape but it's a little easier walking uh, than the other ones we've been to, so we're hoping that we can get up on that Oak Ridge and see quite a few deer tonight. So we're gonna make our trek back in there and uh, we'll let you know when we get set up. All right, this is, uh, this is the tree that Corey and I picked out and scouted today. Uh, we're looking for buck sign, didn't see a lot of buck sign, so we're just gonna deer hunt. Um, it doesn't sound to me like most of the people in the challenge are finding bucks either, so we're not the only ones. But we scouted this area, had bedding over here to the north, bedding over here. Um, lots of acorns are falling. We can see lots of evidence where the deer have been eating acorns. So we got a trail about 29 yards in front of me here. There's one back over in here. This one's coming out of the bedding there. That one's coming meandering from the bedding over here. So we have this big kind of circle open area here with the toward up leaves, as you can see, where they've been rooting up the acorns from the, the red and white oaks that are in here. So we're gonna give this a shot. I think this is our fourth set. Only the second time we've been in a tree, we tried twice from the ground and Corey was successful in the first one, but not so much on the second one, so. 
It's supposed to cool off here pretty shortly, so I think the deer will be moving, so hoping for a good night. Well, we saw zero deer tonight. We heard lots of turkeys and heard them fly up, but we have we didn't see a deer at all. So I think the plan now, I'm going to plan C, I guess. We're going to take this stuff down. We're going to try to hunt from the ground tomorrow in a place that we scouted earlier today. We saw a few deer there and we know where the bed is we know where they feed so i think we'll f see some deer there but it's tough getting in there really tough uh, this place here was a bust tonight all right we're getting ready to go in the last last hunt of this trip and we got to go through a mess to get to where we're going we gotta go through some weeds that are taller than us i don't know what kind of weeds they are but there's a lot of them when you gotta this but basically so i'm gonna swim through them so we're gonna get through those weeds get set up we saw we know where the there's some bedding so we're gonna try to get between bedding and food this morning and just sit on the ground and see if we can't have a doe or buck i don't think it's gonna matter it's cold. Yeah. It's cold this morning. And it is cold this morning. It's 30, 30 degrees. Right, my truck said it was right at 30 degrees. It's really frosty. It's the coldest day of the year so far. So it's the first real, I guess, freeze. I think we've had a little bit of frost, but this is the closest we've had to a real freeze. So deer should be moving. We already saw a buck uh, coming in on the road. So. I think they're moving a little bit, and I think uh, we'll have a good chance of seeing the deer. I don't know if we'll get well pulled off on the ground, and then when we do, it's going to be a booger getting it out of here, but um, I guess that's why it's a challenge. We didn't get the drawback or uh, get close to killing any deer, but we saw a bunch of them. Probably a dozen of them, I think. Mostly does. I think there was one buck up up there that blew at us. Uh, tried this hunting on the ground stuff. Very, very hard. Very hard. Um, in here it's very difficult to shoot anyway because there's branches everywhere so it had been hard and there's really no place to put a stand so this was our only option but we found it to be impossible today but it was fun we saw turkey after turkey deer after deer so the morning definitely wasn't boring we decided to leave because we haven't seen a deer or something in the last five minutes we did just see a turkey <laughs> But, yeah. so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna head back and and probably get something to eat and some coffee I need some coffee and then call it a day well that's gonna do it uh, for the 2022 uh, Missouri public land challenge it's the third annual challenge um, hope to see you guys next year uh, we had a blast we had three does killed as a group uh, no bucks as far as I know. I never heard about anything today, but as far as I know, no bucks were killed. A um, lot of does. A lot of does out here. We saw 12 does this morning and no bucks. Yeah, no bucks this morning. But all in all, a great trip. Enjoyed it. Uh, learned a lot. And uh, we'll be doing it again next year, hopefully. And uh, yeah, 
And the rest of the season we will be hunting our lease property and a couple of permission farms. So stay tuned for those. But for the 2022 Missouri Public Land Challenge, that is it for this trip and we'll see you next time. Yeah.